10,000 mailboxes, okay? So 1,000 small business customers hosted, each with 10 guys in them, 10,000 mailboxes. And I, you guys say, three times the performance, 60% of the power. That's what everybody's about, right? I want small business customers. I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna have a better time. So tell me that their experience is going to be at least three times better, if not more, for 60% of the power in space. And so what we did is we put a little demonstration together. I have three Dell servers and a Dell disk array at the bottom. I have one of our chassis with three servers and three disk blades. We actually only have 12 disks and the Dell system is 15, but close enough for the purposes of this. And that's what we did to them. We said, okay, we're gonna run, we're gonna simulate. Okay, so we have up top here a device called the Spirant Avalanche. And what the Spirant Avalanche is, it actually simulates user connections. And I'm gonna show you two different simulations today. One simulation is sending email, and the other one is the act of opening up your mailbox. So now that we've sent you know, several hundred messages out to all these mailboxes, then we go ahead and we simulate the act of opening up those mailboxes. What we're looking at here is we're looking at, and, and there's one particular number I want to draw your attention to, but you're looking at that test which ran on the Dell equipment, an average time to send an email on that, okay? So you guys hit send, you write an email, you hit send receive, the average time it took to send that email was 1,500 milliseconds or 1.5 seconds, okay? Which is, I'm sure, something you guys are, are very familiar with from the, from the aspect of speed, okay? Other thing I noticed when I, if you guys saw me check that, that current meter there, another thing that I noticed when I, before I shut that equipment off was that the maximum amount of power used by the Dell equipment during that test, which you can now see is all off, was 15 amps of 120 volt power. Okay, so just these four pieces of equipment alone, when they were at peak load doing their home thing, they used 15 amps of power. It's only 10,000 customers. I'll let Ken do the, the math for you and tell you what the impact of that is if you have more customers. Okay, so you guys remember those numbers from before. It was 1.5 seconds to, to access the machine, and it was 15 amps of power, okay? So now, with the same exact test, 10,000 mailboxes, people sending, <coughs> people sending, so sending 31 messages per second, 10,000 mailboxes, on the 360, your average time to send an email message was 420 milliseconds. Okay, approximately one third the amount of time, 420 over 1500. And checking the power meter here, we're using 7.2 amps right now. So roughly half the amount of power. Okay, we also did same tests not only sending the messages, but like I said, opening the messages and retrieving the messages. Similarly there, see if I open the right results this time, you're 13 people per second attempting to open messages, which was, you know, which is kind of high, but average time to get your list of email messages, you got one second, okay? So you hit it. Average time to get your email messages, one second. Average time to open a message on, on, on our box, 293 milliseconds. Okay, once again, a little bit over a third of the performance. Now, okay, the, the one to three numbers aren't coincidental. We've obviously done a lot of our testing using Exchange because it's a very popular application. And for Exchange, it happens to be one to three. For other applications, you're gonna get different results. You know, some will be, will be more efficient with, some, some will be less efficient with. But the long and the short of it is, is you're using, in this particular case, you're getting a little over three times the better, better user experience, right? This is what these customers care about. I go to your box, or what, what difference is my customers gonna notice? They're gonna get a better experience. And then, of course, doing it with half the power. <laughs> That's the